Good afternoon. This is going to be a response video uh, to Milo Calvinist. He put, uh, the, he, had, he took issue with the word I use, uh, that is, that, uh, 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 election is based on foreknowledge. <clears throat> so we'll, we'll just change the wording a little bit and say it's consistent with foreknowledge. But the issue comes foreknowledge. What does God foreknow? God foreknows something. And that foreknowledge, it has to do with what, uh, the condition how it was going to meet the condition that God himself set up. That's the issue of a conditional versus unconditional election. Um, I'll read something from Watson here and his work, uh, a theological dictionary. And he says here, the, uh, uh, but since the uh, predestinarians have confounded the scientia visionis, visionis with the predestinating decree, the scientia media well expressed what they left quite unaccounted for in which they assume did not re-exist. The actions of creatures endowed with free will and the acts of deity from which, which from eternity were consequent upon them. If such actions do not take place, then men are not free. And if the rectorial acts of God are not consequent upon the actions of the creature in the order of divine intention, and the conduct of the creatures consequent upon the foreordained rectorial acts of God, then we reach a necess necessitating eternal decree, which in fact predestinarians contend for, but it unfortunately brings it after its consequences, which no subtleties have been able to shake off, that the only actor in the universe is God himself, and that the only distinction among events is that one class is brought to, brought, brought to pass by God directly, and the other indirectly, not by agency, but by mere instrumentality of his creatures. Uh, so you can say that the uh, uh, election is, uh, is consistent with foreknowledge, and that foreknowledge is prescience, it's, it's, a, it's foreknowing something. Uh, and uh, in the case of uh, the uh, elections uh, of salvation, we're talking about, again, the issue of uh, who gets saved and who doesn't. And uh, if God says that it is God who sets up the condition, he knows who's going to meet that condition. And that's, uh, that's what the, the conditional election is about. So the analogy that Geisler set up was uh, a man choosing to propose to one woman Based on, uh, either based on harmony or consistent with what he knew, how he knew the woman would respond, uh, and she would freely receive, uh, accept his proposal, uh, and he knew the other woman would reject his proposal. That really means that the selection of the woman was consistent. Uh, you want to use that word? That's fine. Uh, with what he knew the woman would do, uh, she met his condition. She met the condition of saying yes to him. That's very simple. And uh, the, uh, the, the the word game and the uh, uh, the uh, trying to uh, uh, avoid the consequence of admitting that you believe in unconditional election, you're a Calvinist. Uh, uh, you know it's it's not gonna work. Uh, the fact is is that Calvin, uh, Calvinism and unconditional election go hand in glove. Uh, it is the core of Calvinism, and uh, uh, foreknowledge means foreknowing, pre-knowing uh, something uh, that uh, that God's election is consistent with. And uh, God is not less free because he sets up a condition. He set the condition which man meets. Uh, so if you're Calvin, just admit it. Stop uh, playing the war games. Geisler tried to have it both ways. He tries to say that he's, um, it's on, on, for God is unconditional. But he said for man it's conditional. Uh, if it's conditional for man, it's because God set the condition for me. So it's conditional for God. Uh, that's a simple fact. That's a simple, that's, a, that's the reality of it. Uh, just admit uh, that uh, uh, Geisler uh, was incorrect uh, in trying to have it both ways. Uh, he, and he uses uh, elections and salvation interchangeably, as interchangeable terms. Terms. Uh, he believes that God is the one uh, who is going to, uh, uh, man has, has to have his own faith. And that's the condition that man has to meet that God has set. Uh, man, God is not less free because he set the condition. Uh, that's a simple fact. So, uh, unconditional election uh, is Calvinism, and if you believe in unconditional election, you're Calvinist. As simple as that. Uh, and what Geisler is, is is he has to have his to choose what he's going to be, uh, go one way or the other. But you can't say it's, it's both because they're mutually exclusive. So uh, hopefully this will uh, uh, finish the discussion and uh, the uh, the notion uh, that one can be not can believe in unconditional election and not be a Calvinist uh, because uh, it's just a destruction of the terms.
uh, and um, conditional election is uh, what the Bible teaches, that men are saved or lost based on what God foreknew uh, they would do with that, uh, the offer of salvation. Amen. Thank you.